Which way? To the right. It is hard to argue with park manager Kirk Barham's decree that he has the best office in the world. It's called Sitka Sedge State Natural Area, and it is Oregon's newest state park. Prized for its lack of development, Sitka Sedge is just south of Sand Lake in Tillamook County. The fact that you can come out on a day like today and, and maybe just have the park almost to yourself. I like that. Walk through and experience uh, really some of the great stuff that uh, the coast has to offer, uh, all in one place. It's where blooming foxglove and salal and wild rose will leave you spellbound, as will the abundant bird life that hunt across the namesake Sitka sedge grasses that grow along the wetland edges. The new park includes four and a half miles of trails across nearly 400 acres of fresh and saltwater marshes, plus forested uplands. To me, the silence kind of shouts at you in here. It does. It's very quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Except for birds. Except for birds <laughs> and, the just, and the roar of the ocean in the background. And then there is this, a magnificent ocean front that will remain undisturbed. So here's your reward for coming up that. Oh man, oh wow. That's Cape Kiwanda to the south, Cape Lookout up to the north. And in between, the new Sitka Sedge joins another state natural area called Clay Myers at Whalen Island. Here, there are 200 acres of forest, sand, and estuary, and even more hiking trails. Visitors like Mark Hinn say Whalen Island is prized because there are few folks around. It's relatively unknown. You pass it quickly on the road. You know, you see most of the time it's emptied and you just see a sand flat. Unless you hit it at the right time, you really won't realize that this is a waterway that you can paddle. The waterway is called Sand Lake and it is shallow throughout, averaging just two feet deep to surround Wayland Island at high tide. Should you choose to paddle this way, be prepared for anything. Even though it is a shallow waterway, there are some deep parts. Uh, the tide does recede out into the ocean, so bring your personal flotation device, bring an extra paddle if you're going to paddle the waterway, bring some basic, you know, first aid stuff, uh, and a communication device so you can communicate with someone if you get in trouble. Meanwhile, back at Sitka Sedge, Barham says no camping will be allowed here. It will always be a low-impact park where nature's touch restores the soul. This is such a beautiful, quiet place that we want to make sure that it's there for present generations and future generations to enjoy. At Sitka Sedge with photographer Jeff Kastner, Grant McComey, KGW.